Dynamo, introduced in Pokemon Black and White, is found at the bottom of a charged stone cave. With a low encounter chance, it is an uncommon member of many people's teams. Cynthia has an elite trot, and black and white only. But other than that, I can't really list another trainer who uses the Tynamo line. The Tynamo line is all mono-electric type with the ability of levitate, giving it no weaknesses unless their ability is nullified. So I used Tynamo on a team for one of my playthroughs of Pokemon Black, and I certainly have an opinion of it. First issue is its name. Tynamo is simple, Electric is simple, but what about Electros? Is it Electros or Electros? I don't know, so I'm just gonna use Electros. Now look at Tynamo, it looks boring. It's a small eel with a yellow zap going down it. It was designed off of the larva stage of eels called Leptocephalus. Shiny form is also very boring, with it just being a sun faded recoloring. Elite trick, on the other hand, is kind of menacing. It looks like a regular eel, except it got fanged. And its Gen 5 sprite is kind of scary. It bounces around harmlessly, then gives you a glare and bears its fang. The shiny form doesn't disappoint either. It got touched by turquoise and it really stands out, especially with the lime dots on the side. Its 3D model, however, is more muted with the turquoise, looking closer to the non-shiny variant. And it's floating in the 3D games to convey its levitatability, I guess. Elite Trucks, the final form, is top tier. While in Eel, it has exaggerated fins, which look great, but now it has arms with claws. It is less scary with its animation, with just playful hops and turning its lights on, but the design is still very expressive. The 3D model, on the other hand, is the total opposite. While yeah, it's levitating, everything is dull. The head antenna that stuck out and exaggerated its fin is retracted. Plus, all it does is swim in the air in one place. No jumps or clawing or anything. But I guess that comes with the 3D games. The shiny form, however, is very green. It looks acidic or swampy. I personally like it. The 3D model, however, just looks like off-brand Rayquaza. Let's get into its in-game mechanics, starting off with the gimmick. No weaknesses, and here's the immediate issue. It has to be an electric type, and only an electric type, with the ability of levitate. The electric type itself is mid, and it's Electros' is only type. It only has stab for electric moves, and here's how those hit. And it still hates ground. For comparison, the only other two Pokemon who had no weaknesses was Sableye and Spiritomb. They get stabbed for two types of moves and an ability on top of it. Yeah, the ability. There are ways to ignore dash avoid abilities, and there are better abilities. But Levitate isn't that bad by itself. But it could probably have a better ability or better stats. Yeah, this is the thing that is holding Electros back. Its stats are spread out, leading to a jack of all trades, master of none situation. It's slow, and its evolved forms are slower than the unevolved one. It has mixed attack and below average bulk. But the speed is what hurts it most. And while the mixed attack allows diversity and options, it will get outsped most of the time unless you build around a choice item. Because it is slow, and with its below average bulk, it might survive a hit, or most likely not. It doesn't resist much, so don't hope for much. So for a Tynamo to get better stats and the ability to learn moves, it must evolve at level 39 into an elite trick. Because this thing knows nothing. Now in order to evolve into Electros, it requires a Thunderstone. And I didn't know this when I was doing a living dex, so I trained an electric to level 70. But I had to do that for my personal electric too, because like all Pokemon that evolve with stones, it learns no moves on level up. 
While in newer games it can remember a lot of moves, an elite trick would have to level up to learn. This hasn't been implemented in Gen 5. Some moves like Coil, Gastro Acid, and High Power moves are learned above level 50. Once evolved though, Elect Trust can learn a lot of TM moves. Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Brick Break, Acrobatics, Grass Knot, U-Turn, and many more. Not even mentioning the move tutors in Black and White 2. This variety allows good coverage, especially with Grass Knot, but the stats still hold it back. With all that, is Elect Trust a bad Pokemon? Ah. Oh. In my opinion, I think it's okay. Hopefully I've given enough information for you to decide your own opinion if you don't have one already. But I think we can all agree, it's a gimmick. Thanks for making it to the end. This is my first video I properly edited and first time using DaVinci Resolve. If you liked the video, leave a like. And if you didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any thoughts, opinions, and or criticisms, leave them in the comments and I'll read them. But if you love the video, feel free to subscribe. I have a Twitch by the way, I just recently beat Pokemon Emerald with only a Mudkip. And now I have some plans to shiny hunt Kyogre and Groudon. Or I might play through Pokemon Black with a Tynema only. So drop a follow over there if you're interested. Okay, bye.